Anj. Exclusive to Joy FM Radio. You're listening to DJ Pressure T. You're listening to DJ Pressure T, aka Pressure T. Hashtag Z Guru. So like I did mention earlier on uh, from the start of the show that we're going to be having our studio guest on today's edition right here on the Jeff Lunch. It is uh, 40 minutes past of uh, 2 in the afternoon just in case you just locked on right as well. Someone got caught up with uh, something somewhere, somewhere. But finally, <laughs> we get to have you right on Joy FM. I almost thought we're not going to have this interview right here. But how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. What's mm. up? How are you doing? Yeah, not bad. How have you been? Mm. I've been okay, man. I don't mm. know about you. Yeah. But yeah. How, how are we? How are we? How are we with everything that's ongoing right there? Coronavirus, the pandemic, and uh, also on your music aspect, how would you describe it so far? I, I think so far we are affected a little bit, you know, because of pandemic and all that. But yeah. um, uh, what, what I can say is that we are surviving. Right? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. mm, we just have to try another alternative, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the thing. So, But we are surviving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so by the way, just in case you didn't know, uh, our guest right now is uh, Yo Maps having a chat with him right as well. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting some uh, few information in these uh, few minutes that we have on the show and hoping that we get to catch up with you as well, our listeners, just to get super interactive on the number 0960-969-269 or 0953-323-738 right here on today's edition of the JF Lunch. So that aside, let's get find out more things right here from Yo Maps on the JF Lunch. Blackout Media Yo, big up to Mr. Stash from the beat The rat and the host of me and say Jump on the rhythm Run the tune It's Africa <laughs> Oh my lord 
the name of Your Mops right there. And uh, this is one of the songs I've been playing right here for quite a while. It has uh, Tawella one day right here on uh, Joy FM, the Joy FM launch once again. This song was doing pretty much fine on our uh, top 20. I don't know if you are aware, uh, Your Mops, it reached as far as uh, number three. Oh, the feedback wow. was awesome as well. Uh, when you were recording this song, I checked out when you posted the song. Yeah, there's quite there was quite a number of people talking about it. Yeah, on the negative <laughs> aspect. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a bit of switching uh, at the end of the day. Do we expect more of such music from you, or maybe you felt like okay, I need to get back to my brand, to what people know me for? Um. Okay. Uh, I think we need to try also to come up with a certain sound. You know. Um, because that sound, the reason why I had to drop that sound because I wanted some uh, to make, um, um, maybe to get other features from outside, you know, yeah, yeah. outside Zambia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they are um, a kind of uh, sound that they normally want you to do for them to jump on the song. You get my point? Yeah. Yeah. So it's not that that's my sound. I have my other sound. You know, I have my own sound. Yeah, so I was just trying to okay. Let me try. Let me try this. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like we had two sounds at the same time. We had Zambian sound and we had foreign sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So we had to put um, everything together. Mm -hmm. So okay, let's try to have foreign sound and our own sound. Then we put them together. Did it give you an advantage out there, foreign? Yeah. So like uh, um, uh, we got the same song and we sent the song to uh, Master KG. Mm -hmm. And responded he liked the song yeah in, in fact before he he had to understand the message he he loved the the, the beat mm -hmm. he said okay this is the type of our instruments here mm -hmm. you know the, the kind of that thing yeah mm -hmm. so he responded and said okay i'm going to jump on the song mm -hmm. yeah interesting let's talk about uh something that i've checked out as well because mostly when i'm checking out what you post then i go on the comments just check out what your fans are yeah. saying yeah. someone was saying someone is really inspired by maki too the way you talk uh the, the way now you're setting sound i checked out one of the comments right there how do you feel when some people comp uh, make a comparison with you with Maki Two because of oh, finally song, but still people can't still accept the fact that you have still made it, and uh, you're still getting there. Um, you know because um, <laughs> yeah, because um, I I I I was introduced by him. You know, I was there. Yeah, before I met him. You know, I was uh, my my music was just background. You know, and um, after him introduced me. You know, like public wise you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. yeah so people thought okay this is the the man who has introduced this guy to us you know mm -hmm. and i respect that you know because he has done a lot uh for me mm -hmm. you know yeah so um I, I understand that and 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 for me i don't take it as uh, uh like maybe it, it might sound as as much as negative maybe to to, to other people but as for me it's something that i really understand mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. how do you deal with uh, stress i know you are an artist there's so many people coming in your inbox some yeah. don't even understand uh new artists want to work with you yeah. and there's always a negative aspect they always complain it's quite very hard to get hold of you yeah, yeah. at the end of the day but how do you handle such I think Pakoya and Papaja used to get mad. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> But uh, as of now, I I understand, you know, because um, as an upcoming artist, you know, I've 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 I was once an upcoming artist, mm. and I know that that kind of hunger, you know, yeah, you just want to blow, you just want to be there, you know. So you try by all means to communicate with the big artists and all that. You try to fight here and there just for you to achieve your dreams, you know. It's mm -hmm. not easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as for me, I think for now I understand because I was once at that, you know, I was... So I don't know when someone comes to me to say, no, I want us to do ABCD. I say, okay, just send your song. Mm -hmm. Then I have to listen to the song, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And if your song is good, then mm -hmm. we have a deal. All right. Yeah. Starting off as well, I was doing another research. Uh, I was checking out someone at one point was a choir leader. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've done my research. I've done my research. Uh, and uh, when you decided to get a switch to what you're doing now, how did your parents take it? Your parents, rather. I mean, yo, it was it was it it was not easy. It was very much difficult for me to to 
to switch, you know, because my dad wanted me to be just um, as a praise leader, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was a praise leader, um, a bread of light church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I used to do gospel music, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So now, you know, it's just something that um, you are doing it because someone told you to do so. Mm -hmm. You know, you get my point. Mm -hmm. So, like, okay, I need to do something that I feel like, okay, I need to do this. This is coming from me mm -hmm. and I need to do it, you know. So I, <laughs> I just, one day I just thought that to say, okay, uh, yeah, I know you want me to do ABCD and I've done that. You know, but I want to do things like vanga chena ni nchini kwa chenye vanga venfu na. You know, then to my shock, he understood. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. So that's how I had to switch mm -hmm. and start doing the secular music. Okay, yeah. but do we expect you going back or maybe doing anything in line with uh, gospel music? Yeah, um, I have uh, a couple of maybe two or three gospel uh, songs. It's just matter of me uh, releasing them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about uh, your album. I remember we had this chat uh, some few months ago on mm -hmm. Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I listened to one of the songs right there from your album as well. Yeah. They are waiting for the album. It's taken a <laughs> lot of time. A lot of time. What made you to hold back? Um, you know, I think you you also uh, you understand to say this uh, this uh, you know pandemic uh, or you know things going on. You know, and I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's uh, right time for me to drop an album. You know, mm -hmm. and especially it's going to be my first album. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't think it's right for the management to drop the album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for us. Okay. So that's why we are holding it a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So should we expect when the duration this year, next year, time flame? That's the choice this year, then the next year. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, but Corona said, ah, my roti drop. Uh, because everything is ready. What what if the pandemic doesn't end and we still adapt to this new norm? Ah, then we decide us. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so is there any measure that you feel like you need to take or maybe your fans, you know, there are issues where you, you need to also tell your fans the importance of streaming music because yeah. few of them know buying online, we have Vizisani as well, okay. where people can get also to access their music right there. Do you also have some time to get to talk to your fans in those lines, knowing the importance on how they are helping new artists in this uh, time of era of this pandemic, the coronavirus? Yeah, I think uh, we are we have been uh, talking about that. I think a couple of artists have been talking about that. Mm -hmm. You know, like especially if we we talk about um, subscribers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very important for an artist to have um, subscribers. You know, yeah, because it's going to help an artist to have. Uh, collaborations with uh, um, big artists out there you know mm -hmm. yeah because if you want to let's say if you want to do a song with um, um uh, let me say not say mm -hmm. or maybe casper you know they they're going to check your youtube face i mean how, how many people do you have you know mm -hmm. that's the thing yeah mm -hmm. so it's very important i notice to have uh, mm -hmm. subscribers you know? okay mm -hmm. issues to do with uh you collaborating with the international artists that is that has been like the cry of a lot of Zambian uh, fans. Yeah. They have been asking and, and for that. And you know, I'm, 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 I'm glad and I'm happy to. I'm, 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 at, at least I'm able to see some other artists in Zambia. They are able to collaborate with big artists out there. You know, uh, talk of Roberto, um, uh, J Rocks. You know, other even Venong uh, Venong. Mm -hmm. So and, and, and it's a good platform. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's the thing. Okay, so maybe you can just mention the names of the, the artists that you've collaborated that are international and also just give us a few information about the album. I, I think about that. I won't, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw it. We saw it somewhere, somewhere. You already mentioned about it. Uh, there's Master KG. I don't know why I was very excited and didn't mention it. Yeah. I, was, I wasn't supposed to mention that. I, I wasn't it's a long night surprise. It. Yeah. It's a long night surprise. I was very excited. I was like, ah, what have I done? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so. Yeah. Yeah. It was supposed to be a surprise. Hey. Okay. You know? Yeah. But that's the thing. Mm. Um, well, um, uh, we, we are. Uh, I can't be in a point. I was saying, man. I'm following that one. Okay, most of the it can do. I said that Zaka would rock so good. So good. Mm. But how many songs are we expecting the album? Um, I wanted to have, I wanted my album to have uh, fifteen, but now we 
we have more than 15 songs mm -hmm. you know we have more than 15 songs so i think maybe we should had or maybe two or three mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe 18, 19, something okay. like that. Yeah. And the other thing I'd like to find out is uh, how do you make sure that you keep your fans who've been listening to you and people will still enjoy your music to still listen to you? Do you also sometimes think about, okay, my time is going to be up at one point. Yeah, yeah. People are still going to stop to listen to me. At the yeah. end of the day. Do you also think on yeah, those yeah. lines? Yeah, uh, I don't need to think <laughs> on those lines because that's the fact. It's, it's just there. And there's a time people will stop listening to my music, you know. Like, I'll give you an example, like in Kafka Uma 35. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, and the thing is that um, each and every year, trust me, you, we're going to have um, a new artist coming up, you know, mm -hmm. a new artist coming up. Like, for example, this year we have Chandana K, mm -hmm. you know, and they are doing fine, they are good, you know. So, uh, next year, again, Tizankala Navenam, just like that mm -hmm. you know and um so you know we we, we have uh something like uh, my fans who, who are going to be divided they'll go to the new artists and listen to the something new you know mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so that's the thing so yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. one point because i'm gonna check ah okay this is why you are called by your maps okay okay all right so time is on on my side we're supposed to start this interview at uh 2 p.m but uh let's see Anything that you want to talk about, your fans, people have been following you, your music, uh, anything that you'd like to talk about in your remix? Um, I, I think for now, I would love to just to talk to my fans to say, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel because it's very important for me. It's mm -hmm. very, very important. Yeah. And um, thank you so much that you have, you have been supporting your, your Maps' music and, you know, you started with me. So... This is not the end, this is just the beginning. So um, let's keep moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, last question is uh, if you are not doing music, what else would you have been doing? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you are not an artist. <laughs> uh, footballer. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, well, well. <laughs> Before the number music, I consider this if you have So I'm sure by this time, and for about Dikoni, all over Elda, if you have Okay. Yeah. Your mom was great having you. It was a quick one, but I'm pretty sure when your album is out, we're looking forward to get to have you and get to find out more right on Joy FM as well. All right. Let's get to sign out with this current brand new single right here as well. Something that uh, my Wang. We didn't get to talk about this song, but I'm pretty sure yeah. we'll make a day. Okay. We'll get to find out more right on Joy FM. All right. Zach,